All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to a game between Sock versus Lolly at this game taking place here on Last Refuge. I don't know what they were thinking, inviting him to cast anyways. His English is not uh, was not good enough to be an. Uh, uh, it, it was still um, uh, apparently it was still very entertaining. Anyways, let's break things down. This game is Lolly at versus Sock. La Layette spawning as the purple Night Elf player over here on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, over here on the bottom left, we have Sock spawning as the blue human. Um, I, I think during during day one, um, a lot of people just want to really be entertained. I, um, it was day one matches. Um, you know, all of the invited players were had not really been playing yet. Um, uh, uh, I think Entei was, you know, Mouse Sports' Entei was really the one who was coming out on top. And, and some of the other pro players who, who were not necessarily invited but still made their way out. Um, made for some entertaining casts. And um, also, I started to lose my voice. I mean, trying to, trying to herd cats, I, I guess is the, is the phrasing. Trying to um, just organize all of the players, get the people into the right rounds, and screaming over the natural din that is in a convention hall um, really made my voice go back on back um, at the beginning of the year. And I, I wonder how long am I going to be talking about DreamHack Anaheim? Um, I, I, I wish that there was another event um, local to me that I could, you know, just like reminisce about. But then again. Um, there hasn't been any real physical events anywhere, have there? Crota, which race are you? Pl uh, I play human um, normally. Um, my micro is completely gone now. Um, like, and my build order sense and timing um, is all is is all wrong. Um, so yeah, there, there's there's all sorts of issues. What do you think about the upcoming Warcraft Three Champions Ladder Season Finals Tournament? Grubby is playing in an actual tournament, and I'm quite well. Um, Gr Grubby brings viewers, which is always a very is is what you want in esports, right? You want spectate. Wait, what? Beastmaster first coming in from La La Yet did not even keep track of the timing of that altar of elders. So Beastmaster first um, coming in in this matchup, and remember, this is another tournament match. Uh, Beastmaster has not a hero at first that I've seen in quite some time, especially since most players um, seem to agree that the Keeper of the Grove is well just as effective, if not more effective, as well. But then, well, Misha, or the bear, has gotten much, much more powerful as you're able to summon more of them out onto the field. And, well, the bear is uh, is incredibly useful as the archers generally just need a little bit of additional tanking in that front line. And that's exactly what the bear does, too. The bear actually getting stronger with, uh, with better abilities being able to bash and then also being able to blink as well and um, just a very strong strong unit in that front line location all right tome of strength being picked up here that forest troll shadow priest should really be trying to heal up himself we're covering hit points on a summoned unit not necessarily the best so many different hero picks and strats these days um yeah i got to agree there are just different types of strategies and being being able to or not being able to look at a game and look at the players' names and go, okay, this is going to be an Archmage versus a Demon Hunter. Um, the Demon Hunter is going to do a little bit of harass, uh, do an Ancient of War creep, and then, well, be able to harass Mana Burn, shut down the Archmage a little bit as the Archmage tries to set up an expansion. And the fact that I am no longer able to uh, know exactly the outcome um, just by closing my eyes and, and seeing the names is a very, very nice. Um, being uh, being unable to predict what these players are trying to do. All right, Misha or the Bear is still engaging in a couple of battles here. That Murloc Nightcrawler, as you remember or as you know, does have poison, so it does try and switch up targets pretty regularly. Beastmaster now sitting at level three item drop is the Gauntlets of Ogre Strength plus three, but it looks like well the Beastmaster does not want to go back after it. Beastmaster now going to go ahead and bring to the party level two bears, and and well, this is this might actually be rather entertaining here as well the footmen have defend. Oh, a quick abolish magic, and there goes the raging bear. That raging bear does deal so much damage. Once more, one more shot, Beastmaster. Gonna get a killing blow on that Force Troll Shadow Priest and now back away. Alright, that bear 
900 hit points, one armor. Beastmaster now rotating back off to the north. We're going to be looking at, well, oh, this little tinier bear coming back in onto the field as well. Uh, yeah, that little bear, that looked like a bear cub compared to the, I guess, the mama bear coming back in here. All right, look at that bear getting ready to join in on the fight here. So much damage coming back across. Abolish magic onto that water elemental. Water elemental gets taken down as the Beastmaster sits at level three. Could drop another bear here in just a moment, trying to finish off some of these units as that scout tower, well, it's going to be taking in some damage as well. All right, bears do deal a large amount of damage, but what is going on here? Going to finish off. There goes one, uh, one peasant and now trying to finish off another. Two more shots should finish it off. There goes another peasant there as the Beastmaster now trying to back up. All right, the beast or this bear has taken down three, maybe four peasants already, and that number just seems to be growing. Is it going to be able to take down another peasant there? Yes, it does, as that bear finally gets taken out. All right, making his opponent pay for that expansion. Forest Troll, Shadow, or Forest Troll Berserker shows up to the party off to the north here. Um, to abolish magic, those water elementals, that's going to be incredibly important. Sock may need to get up a second um, unit as well. There's going to go another Forest Troll Berserker. Bear needs to, uh, well, Beastmaster needs to join in on the fight here. Forest Trolls need to heal up as well. Archmage is going to try to drop a Water Elemental. There's Gauntlets of Ogre Strength plus three. It should be picked up here. It's going to get picked up, and there you are. Slight engagement ready to go. Archmage afraid to drop Water Elementals with the double Forest Troll Shadow Priest there to easily abolish it. And what's interesting is that um, normally you get Forest Troll Shadow Priest to deal with your opponent's summons as well. The Raging Bear has 900 hit points. Uh, trying to abolish magic down the Raging Bear is just not going to work as opposed to abolishing magic, those um, those uh, trends that have 200 or, or significantly less hit points each. That's make their way over that Ancient of War going to be getting into position as uh, Ancient of War going to be absorbing that damage from that Null Assassin. A little bit of purge on that Beastmaster, but the Beastmaster will get to level 4. Back across off to the north here. Tree of Life is entangling that gold mine. We are going to be running up on two bases here in just a moment as the Beastmaster does get to level four and has access to level two Quill Beast. Meanwhile, we should be looking at level two Brilliance Aura coming in from the Archmage. Yes, there you go. Level two Brilliance Aura as, well, that Water Elemental, um, well, is a little bit of a liability now as we see a panda as the other side oh this is going to be absolutely a nightmare panda with breath of fire going across all of the footmen meanwhile um the beast master is going to have access to those bears and and another thing to note, Beastmasters, those bears, uh, have such high hit points that they're difficult to try and use control magic on, too. Quill Beast out onto the battlefield. We're going to see quite a bit of damage, perhaps, trying to be added in here. We are looking at a second um, tower being constructed as Sock. Are we going to see an Arcane Tower? Oh, getting blocked by the sheep and losing precious, precious mana once more. Abolish magic, finishing off, or trying to finish off a couple of those units. All right, Footman trying to go after um, um, the Forest Troll Shadow Priest does find it target once more quill beast getting in some extra damage once more as the panda could try and get off a breath of fire onto those footmen in that front line as more target training and practice coming into play all right breath of fire are we going to see that coming across here a little bit of vampiric aura footmen what are they doing chasing back across all of those units there's another breath of fire there as the arcane tower well in a little bit of trouble. Archmage, Sock being forced to use the Scroll of Town Portal to try and save. There goes another Water Elemental. No Breath of Fire. Panda pretty much out of mana. And the Beastmaster and the Panda pretty much are now just turning into giant tanks. They are that front line to try and absorb all of that damage. Are we going to see a Forest Troll Shadow Priest try to get in any more any more Abolished Magics? That is the question as the Forest Troll Berserker gets in another Abolished Magic on that Water Elemental, lowering his hit points. Backing away, the Dryads are still starting to cause some problems as well. Dryads could get in some more Abolish Magics too. Water Elemental, very low on hit points. It's going to get taken down. There it goes as, well, the Quill Beast continuing to just dive on in here. No mana on that Panda Brewmaster. Arcane Tower uh, causing a little bit of, of a feedback damage onto those units again. And this is just a complete surprise play coming in from Sock, going for double Tavern Heroes, and then using the Abolish Magic to shut off their opponents. Um, this has got to be some sort of tech play. Players constantly thinking, I'm going to be going up against Archers with that Keeper of the Grove. So I'm going to get Footman with Defend. 
an Archmage. I'll get Abolish Magic, and I'll be in a great spot. All of a sudden, having to deal with 900 hit point summons, maybe even higher, as we are now going... Well, are we going into level 3 Bears or level 3 Quill Beasts? I still don't know. More damage getting added in. There goes another Peasant Spear in the back. Takes him out. Units getting ready to engage once more. Arc well, come on. Beastmaster had access, could have tried to summon something, the Arcane Tower. However, removing much of that mana again as it is going to be level 3 bears. A level 3 raging, blinking bear. That bear should be able to close in on that distance and then perhaps get in a bash as well. That, uh, that Beastmaster's bear almost becomes a Mountain King without Stormbolt, just with bash. And able to blink into the back line, get in some stuns, and perhaps take down some of those footmen indeed. Alright, why is the Brewmaster walking away? It should be the Beastmaster walking away, as the Beastmaster cannot get any more experience. Alright, weird way to catch your opponent off guard. As, and this is what I wanted to see. Once a meta is established, you can actually have a counter meta as the Dryad simply just walk into a, an absolute nightmare of a battle. And Brewmaster is in position here. Footman finally with the defend. There's a 1200 hit point Spirit Bear as the Spirit Bear going to be able to get in some a big, uh, uh, yeah, a big giant Papa Bear finishing off things right there. Alright, the Bear, however, taking a large amount of damage. It's going to go ahead and blink back out, not wanting to give any easy experience to his opponent. All right, Arcane Tower onto the Brewmaster. Brewmaster losing a lot of precious mana. More bears or druids of the claw uh, joining in on the fight. I can't even actually call it a bear anymore since the bears are, the raging bears are the actual bears. That druid of the claw is in bear form and he is surrounded. No staff of preservation um, inbound as that bear gets taken out. 43 supply compared to 50. Sock is having a fairly decent time defending. Both sides are having expansions. But who is going to come out in ahead here? Sock is sitting on, uh, what, 1,300 gold. And Lala, yeah, sitting on 2,200 gold, even though he has seven supply left over to try and train up units. We should be getting some major upgrades as well. No reason not to if you're sitting on 2,100 gold as that spirit bear, well, trying to well, head back and disappear. Here. All right, Panda needs to get to level three. Dryads are in position, gonna easily finish off the Ogre Magi. Panda gets up to level three. So, um, well, there's a Panda Bear, a Dru uh, Raging Bears, and Druids of the Claw Bears. Plenty of bears that, well, Sock can, can Sock bear this, bear the burden. All right, let's make our way back through. All right, do we have any bear bears? Rejuvenation, all right, N what? Bear bears? Oh, oh, all right, and now in comes, now in comes the tech switch. Double chimera roost coming off over here. So the chimeras are gonna really be able to put in a lot of pressure, especially on that footman front line. Um, Archmage going to be coming back across here. Mountain King sitting at level 1. It did go for Thunderclap. And it may, is it going to be able to get to level 2 or level 2 Thunderclap? Yes, it is. 10-10 dad jokes. Um, all right. Yep. No, well, I'm a dad. As, as we're going to see the Ogre Lord now get taken out. Warsong Battle Drums added in as extra damage as well. This is going to be very big indeed as the School of Town Portal coming back down. Raging Bear or the Spirit Bear right there. There's a Breath of Fire finishing off many more of those units as the units are now going to try and back up once again. Chimera is going to be joining in on the fight. And the Panda going to be turning back around, perhaps trying to finish off some of those units. The Raging Bears or, or Mortar Teams going to end up getting picked off really quickly as the Chimeras are in position. 1-1 one, one upgrades. Are we going to be getting some more rejuvenations? Here we are. Panda going to try and fight. And surprise, there are Chimeras in the air. All right, going after those Mortar Teams are going to be incredibly important, trying to finish off those units. But instead, hitting the Rifleman right now. Cyclone being, well, lifting up the Beastmaster and that Spirit Bear as well, as units are now just getting pelted down as well. Footman going to get taken out. Rifleman trying to focus down those Chimeras, but not going to be able to do very much a big thunderclap across the side here as the spirit bear able to blink on in trying to finish off that mountain king mountain king down to level down to 130 hit points is it going to get bashed trying to get away there is another bit of damage there's a bash onto the mountain king mountain king could get taken down no finishes it off gets to level three as the chimeras are coming in from the side now all right what's going on here flying machine is going to go after those chimeras the flying machines may actually take down the chimeras as there's not enough ground 
Storm unit to finish it off. There goes that Flying Machine, though, as one Chimera down to 124 hit points. Bear is trying to uh, go back here. Mountain King with Wand of the Wind. Beastmaster out of mana. This Water Elemental quickly getting taken out once more as another Chimera takes the place of that low hit point Chimera. The Chimeras do not have... Oh, the in comes a new Flying Machine. The fly, uh, Chimeras do not have... Um, the do not have that siege attack as of yet and yes siege attack is longer range and therefore can attack the towers with and even though the magic damage is a bit better all right chimera is coming in to well try and put in all of that pressure water elemental is trying to back away are we going to perhaps get another abolish magic for sure shadow priest should really be trying to hear there's a breath of fire coming back across the other side as the water elemental is going to get taken down there all right beastmaster looking to back up once more as we are looking at the brewmaster now a bit slowed chimeras in position three of them should be able to make short work of these towers here in just a moment in comes the units there is that bear in that frontline spot flying machines in position flying machines um, while getting blown out of the sky by that breath of fire as the chimeras look to continue to finish off more of those towers here there's a massive thunderclap in the back here staff of preservation saving i believe a chimera as the um, uh, mountain king able to get in so much damage here another bear going to get taken down as a thunderclap slows things down even further all right panda continuing to fight back here 52 supply compared to 65 la Layette has the larger army as we're trying to abolish magic here flying machines able to pick apart many of these chimeras what is going on 65 supply there goes another water elemental as a priest are falling as well beastmaster now sitting at level six panda sitting at level four units are going to try and back off and there you go another flying machine getting shot out of the sky all right where is the army of la Layette? that is the question he's sitting at 79 supply right now but i really don't see the army anywhere all right well when you have 14 supplies sitting in in production that could be a big reason right there as the flying machines will make their way back over all right chimeras a chimera roost still going unnoticed um, 2400 gold banked and now quickly spending it all back once more as we're looking at the archmage sitting at level five mountain king sitting at level three are what is this next follow-up engagement going to be this spirit bear trying to perhaps finish off some units flying machines are immune to that poison since they are mechanical units as the panda well the panda bear gonna try and fight some more again there's a breath of fire across multiple units off to the side here as well the flying machines are they gonna end up getting taken down all right there's a massive thunderclap across that front line chimera is still doing a lot of damage in that front line here causing problems as the chimeras are getting teleported back all right level four now on the mountain king are we gonna see another thunderclap no stormbolt onto a chimera chimera down to 158 hit points but nothing to follow it up and sock has left the game lalayette completely catching sock off guard with this strategy he probably practiced against a lot of keeper of the grove with archers was not expecting well uh, um, that uh beast master with bears all right all well panda bears raging bears spirit bears all in play and well sock couldn't handle it thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it I, I i know like i was setting up a dad joke and then i decided not to use it because it was it was too easy anyways thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it